All right, so welcome back. We have Luge's finals for you right now. KDZ on the player one side. L.I. Joe on the player two side. Rufus versus Sagat, a matchup that we have definitely been seeing plenty at this tournament already. And right now we have... Uh, so we got not, losers finals. Explain this matchup to me. This matchup is horrible. I don't play Rufus, but I, I I see how bad it is. He has to get in. KDZ, um, I don't know, wow. man. I, I wish him luck, but I don't know if he knows he has enough experience. You have to be so much better than a cigar player to win this matchup, which is kind of why Justin can actually win it because he's usually outskilling the cigar player. Huh. You got you heard it from Justin. Justin's the saying KDZ is playing the match wrong, so that's a that's an omen. Justin just said that he's playing the match wrong, so that's a bad sign. Alright, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to get uh, Justin to commentate uh, once he's back from doing whatever. Something that's more this important. Is not a, this is not finals. a button check, folks. This is an actual match right here. <laughs> so if Joe does beat KDZ, which it looks like he's uh he has a good chance of doing, we're gonna have a run back of our winners finals. Uh. Lose Dominion, Dominion versus Long Island Joe wow. if KDZ doesn't win. First round easily goes to Joe. Headshot. And somebody just said Joe doesn't have gal experience, which is crap because he plays us all the time. So, uh, We all know how to play. We've all fought each other a million times here in New York. So what we're referring to, of course, is uh, the winner's finals match that just happened before. Yeah. Joe went up against Dominion. He plays uh, Dominion at CF all the time. That's not Dominion excuse. won. Uh, was, he, he got his Honda taken down, but switched to Guile and was able to bring that back against uh, Joe Sagat. KDZ is actually the one with no experience. He, there's no really good Sagats in Jersey at all. Wow. And uh, you can see from this match, he really doesn't have that much Sagat experience. Uh. Rufus had an like fifty percent life. And uh, lost so Gat literally took all that damage with four attacks. So, wow. KDZ. Oh. Wow. KDZ clutch. Justin. Tell me what, uh, uh, Justin. What is what is KDZ doing wrong? All right. Basically, what Rufus has to do against Sagat uh, is like, watch the match. Let's let's see what Justin has to say. Oh, this is Justin Wong giving commentary uh, on the Rufus basically, match. Basically, right now Rufus has to walk in. And just really just take it, take everything. You gotta take all the fireballs. But when he pushes the guy all the way to the corner, that's when he wins. See, right now it's in Rufus's favor. Right now. So, so should so Rufus stay on the ground? He, should, he needs to stay on the should ground. Should he focus those fireballs? No, because his, after he dashes, the dash is too slow, and the will be. Sagat so how how should Rufus be getting in right now? Walk forward. Walk you, forward, you, block. You have to walk forward and block. You heard that walk forward block is walk what you Walk forward and block, and then if you have fast reactions, EX Masai kick over it, over those fireballs. So first game easily goes to Long Island Joe. And uh, it's a guy warming up some ribs right now. Right, right now, Joe has a huge lead. And, uh, right now, Rufus, Ru Rufus' best option is after he knocks him down with a throw uh -huh. to go for a medium kick cross-up. So, yo, so basically, KDZ is doing this all wrong. Why? So KDZ, How can you avoid getting hit with Tiger Uppercut with Rufus? No, you're going to get hit. You, you, just can't, you can't avoid getting hit by a Tiger Uppercut. You're you going to get hit. You got to take risks, But the thing right? is, you have to take risks with the character. Right. And the thing about Rufus, he can afford to take risks because he has, like, you know, a really high defense in the game. So you hear uh, Rufus actually has a jump forward cross up on Sagat and a few other characters that he's not abusing off knockdown. So uh, let's say if you get like a dive kick, you should never do the bread and butter combo short standing fierce in a tornado. You should always because if you do that, you'll push him back full screen. Right. What you want to do is you want to press short and standing roundhouse. And if it, when they tech roll, Rufus gets a free cross up from the tech roll. Oh, so you want to do the launcher, the short? Yeah, the, okay. Even though there's no damage, it's better in the long run because. You stay on his ass. You don't right. want to push him away and reset the position again. Right. So I hope Rufus players are taking notes. You're getting a play-by-play uh, -play of how to beat Sagat with Rufus right now. So, um, makes sense. He says knock down with the roundhouse instead of doing a tornado spin combo and get free um, mix-ups on the wake up. You don't want to. You want to stay close to Sagat the whole match. So. <laughs> it's too zip right now. 
It, I, uh, I, Joe's I, saying he I hates Abel, him. but uh, I haven't seen him lose to Abel, so he needs to shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> oh, he lost the juice box. Oh, sorry about that. He did get get, get beat on on the big screen by juice box. So, so I, think, I think Abel is a better choice for KDZ right now because KDZ doesn't have any Rufus versus. So you think Abel is a better choice than Rufus? Well, for KDZ. Okay, right. And Sagat is just throwing out those carefree Tiger uppercuts. The thing is, right now, is KDZ scared. Yeah, KDZ is scared of Tiger uppercut yeah, and it's affecting his game. When he did a step kick, he just walked and blocked. Yeah, step, yeah, he got the home, right. Oh, we what got a up? courtesy scoop by KDZ, but it looks, oh. Back dash Tiger uppercut completely what he safe. What, folks. what he should have done was dash and then roll, because you now he, he couldn't tell from the position if it was gonna be a cross up or not a cross up. Wow, you heard you heard that. Now we get some able tips from Justin. Uh, I don't play any of these characters, but whoever plays these characters should be taking notes. He's basically getting a walkthrough of what he should be doing. See what what eight, what he should do right now is wait for fireballs and absorb the fireballs to get ultra, so you Im immobilize the right. guy throwing fireballs. Right, but he's he's. He, right he's basically he just, just attacking and not really. He has no strategy, it seems. He seems he's just trying to land a grab. Focus fireball all day. Oh, what a good command grab. Abel has like the best command grab in the game. Scoop. Dash roll. See, it's a mix up. Ab he's getting, oh, he's getting scooped. They're scooping each other to death right now. Another scoop. It's like three boxes of Raisin Brand on the screen. And that ultra oh, is, is over. That game over? It may, yeah, it, it looks like it's over. No, he gets the two-hit ultra. Oh, he's waiting. Can't throw fireballs now. Oh man, it's just like. Oh, and he misses. Oh. Oh, KDZ takes third, but not that. KDZ take KDZ. third. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have a run back of the grand fi uh, the winners finals. Dominion playing Gal versus Long Island Joe. Uh, Joe has to win two sets. So um, that's going to be really frustrating to beat Kevin two sets. Kevin's a really uh, turtle-based uh, player. So.